What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Roman Reigns is now putting in overtime in WWE, Big E in-ring return possible, Alexa Bliss not returning until 2025, AJ Styles WWE run is almost over, MVP is all elite, the creepiest WWE storyline ever, AEW retires a title and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now our first story looks at Roman Reigns is now putting in overtime in WWE. Our Roman Reigns is now working a full-time schedule. As of recent news that Roman is scheduled to appear on every episode of SmackDown from October 11th until Survivor Series War Games, has fans excited at the prospect of seeing him more frequently as one ecstatic fan tweeted, WWE has just announced the new dates for Roman Reigns' appearance. In addition to this week and Bad Blood, he will be present on every SmackDown until Survivor Series. Roman is full-time again. We won. While it's unknown what Roman's schedule is after Survivor Series, Roman Reigns fans can't get enough of the Tribal Chief, and it'll be interesting to see how things play out leading up to Bad Blood, Crown Jewel, and Survivor Series. Triple H's promise after SummerSlam that the WWE had even bigger things ahead of it appears to be true, as Roman is back and the WWE is capitalizing on his face turn to create new and engaging storylines. Next up, breaking news, a SummerSlam 2025 location confirmed. Now WWE just announced breaking news as the first ever two-night SummerSlam is now coming to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey on Saturday, August 2nd and Sunday, August 3rd. This is going to be huge, but what do you guys think of the two-night SummerSlam? Should it be two nights or one night? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Vince McMahon took precautions. Did Vince McMahon take precautions during the filming of the Mr. McMahon docuseries to avoid statements coming back to haunt him down the road? Or more to the point, did Vince's advisors make sure McMahon didn't say anything he'd later regret? That's the story from The Observer who laid out a timeline of Vince McMahon's involvement in the docuseries and what happened behind the scenes during the show's filming. Now, the Wrestling Observer first noted that, that McMahon ended his interviews after the 2022 Wall Street Journal story broke of the news of McMahon's hush money scandal. McMahon also stopped talking with those involved in the documentary. They couldn't follow up on it. Vince cancelled all their interviews after that point. We were not able to interview Vince after the first Wall Street Journal story. That's when Vince stopped talking to them. More interesting is the news that Vince reportedly had advisors with him during the interviews, presumably to keep him from saying something he may regret later on. They also added, at no point was Vince alone. Vince always had people around him to make sure that he didn't say the wrong thing. The precautions make sense considering Vince never provided an outside source with so much access to him or current or former WWE personnel. While McMahon has conducted interviews with the media before, this was likely a new experience for him, and his advisors likely wanted to make sure that he could function in an environment where he didn't have complete control. Next up, Biggie in-ring return possible. Now it's time for some positive news surrounding New Day's Biggie, who's been out of action since suffering a devastating neck injury in March of 2022. During their chat with Philly Sports Talk, Biggie updated fans saying, yeah, more than anything, I'm just taking every day as it comes. I know that sounds like a cliche, but I get scans again in another three to six months. And if they look great and the doctors say it's healthy for me to go back, then that's something where we'll sit down and talk about it. Biggie has worked tirelessly to recover from the injury, which could have paralyzed him or even ended his life. However, doctors have been cautious about any in-ring return due to concerns about whether his body can sustain the punishment of competition. Biggie shared the philosophy he's maintained since the injury, but I try not to spend too much time or worrying about things I can't control. It's nice to know that if I get the opportunity to get back in the ring and I can do it healthily, then let's do that. Let's attack it fully. But if not, I know exactly what I want to do and I'm excited about that path too. Biggie and the New Day have always promoted the power of positivity, so it's no surprise that the New Day big man is looking on the bright side. Next up, MVP is All Elite. It's official as former WWE superstar MVP is All Elite. The former manager of the Hurt Business showed up on AEW's Grand Slam edition of Dynamite, confronting Swerve Strickland's manager Prince Nana. MVP called Nana out for some of the problems Strickland has of late, including Hangman Adam Page burning Swerve's childhood home down with no repercussions. MVP threw out a reference to his days managing Bobby Lashley and the rest of the Hurt Business when he told Nana that when Swerve is ready to get serious, to give him his business card so they can talk business. Next up, when did MVP sign with AEW? 
As interesting news concerning MVP signing as PW Insider reports, the two sides came to terms on a deal about a month ago, which means a former superstar could have appeared earlier. MVP's appearance at Grand Slam gave him a high-profile venue to debut, and AEW deserves credit for waiting for this moment. Are you guys looking forward to MVP's time in AEW? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, AJ Styles' WWE run could be almost over. As more news on AJ Styles, as a new report from Fightful Select states that Styles' WWE contract appears to be expiring very soon. Fightful sources indicate it's believed that the Phenomenal One's current deal ends late this year or early in 2025. Unfortunately, there's no information on whether the WWE is working on a new deal. Styles has previously discussed retiring when his contract expires, but as fans have seen many times, retirement is easier said than done for wrestlers. Although AJ is 47, you can be sure other promotions will be interested in signing him, including AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, that being said, if Styles wants to continue wrestling, even if it's in a limited capacity, the WWE may offer him a deal just to keep him from signing with a rival promotion. At that point, it'll be up to Styles to decide whether he wants to remain in the WWE or try his luck elsewhere. This could lead to a situation similar to Adam Copeland, aka former superstar Edge, as the WWE apparently felt Copeland was better used as a special attraction, while the rated R superstar disagreed, opting to work in AEW. Next up, Alexa Bliss not returning until 2025. Alexa Bliss fans won't be happy to hear our next story as Little Miss Bliss may not be returning to WWE until 2025. PW Inside Relay is reporting that a source has informed that Bliss is not expected back until the holiday season, which is being interpreted as 2025. Bliss last appeared in WWE in early 2023 and took time off for maternity leave. She previously teased fans on social media that she was returning, leading to speculation she might be involved with the Wyatt Six. She then took to social media, posting a steamy photo on Instagram along with this message. Don't worry darling, I'll see you soon enough. According to the report, the WWE is in no rush to bring her back as it wants a strong storyline for her when she returns. Nevertheless, this is disappointing for fans who haven't seen her in over a year. This situation reminds us of the advantages and disadvantages of a large roster. The WWE has many superstars to utilize when top performers are out. At the same time, it can be difficult to reinsert absent superstars, which could cause backlash from fans eager to see their favorite performer. Next up, the creepiest WWE storyline ever. And to quote Booker T, tell me he didn't just say that. Yeah, Vince McMahon confirmed one of wrestling's biggest controversies and creepiest storylines. The rumored storyline where Stephanie McMahon would announce her kayfabe pregnancy and then her father Vince McMahon would be revealed as the father. Vince discussed the storyline during the documentary. One of my storyline ideas was that Stephanie gets pregnant. I think I was the one who impregnated her, my character. I think it was something like that. It was like, no, that one didn't make it. Although Stephanie didn't acknowledge that the storyline was pitched, she did discuss some of the off-the-wall storylines she participated in. When I was younger in my career, I was all on board to do whatever he wanted. I look back on some of the stuff I did and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sometimes I thought it was a little bit weird, but it was a different time in our business. The new Mr. McMahon docuseries is fueling plenty of debate and online chatter as fans react to the series' many interviews and statements from wrestlers and wrestling personnel, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, sharing his belief that he doesn't believe in CTE. Next up, AEW retires a title. AEW has one less title as the FTW champion Hook has retired the FTW championship. Hook announced this at AEW Grand Slam after defeating Roderick Strong. He then handed the title belt to his father Taz who created the title during his epic run in Extreme Championship Wrestling. A Taz tweeted a shout out to everyone who held the title. I would like to thank all of the men who have held the FTW Championship. Sabu, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, Jack Perry, Chris Jericho and Hook and also any fan that has supported and enjoyed this championship during the ECW years or in modern day wrestling during the current AEW years. Thank you. Former champion Ricky Starks tweeted, Taz, a great list of champs. Salute to you, my dude. The titles reveal in AEW gave the promotion another championship during its formative years, but AEW has so many titles right now that there's a case retiring the FTW championship was a timely move. And finally, a WWE superstar announces the birth of a second child. Last but not least, congratulations to AEW superstar Angelo Dawkins and his wife on the birth of their second child. Dawkins tweeted photos of the new addition to the family, along with this message, Welcome to the fam, little homie too. And we send our best to the Dawkins family as they begin this latest chapter in their lives. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.